and today we're going to be back on Portal 2. Playing it, I guess. I mean, not really back, but... <laughs> so, the last time we played the Portal 2 single player instead of not cooperative mode, 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 what? <laughs> um, basically what happened was British dude got corrupted by the machine. I guess it was evil or something, and then it just turns whoever gets put in there evil. So now we have also GLaDOS, or however you say your name, <laughs> as a potato, and we were falling into some pit of death. Yeah, we didn't leave off in a very good spot. <coughs> so, yeah, let's just get right into the game. Okay. Loading screen. Loading. 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 Stop loading. Okay. So, I guess now we have to defeat British dude or something. Oh, that's gonna be sad. Huh? I don't, I don't remember what she was talking about, but she's just the potato. You guys might know. Well, we hit the bottom. <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. Oh yeah, and I forgot they had, they got a new Aperture Science in the latest. I'm just gonna move this and this. There we go. <coughs> now you guys should be able to see better. <coughs> Sorry about that. The bird is trying to eat the potato. Oh, shoot. The bird just took away the potato. Uh, this is the mess that me and British dude caused. The mess that caused now the mess. Jeez. So I guess now we have to find Mrs. Potato. Do you guys remember that toy? The Mrs. Potato? I don't know. May maybe you guys are younger than me so you wouldn't remember playing with that toy at all or something. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh jeez. This is just like super wet right here. Um. Okay then. And there's the fire. There is literally a fire. Uh, I think this is like leftover scraps f from. Oh, I think this is like where he melted her into a potato battery, or whatever he did. Uh. <coughs> well, I don't know how to get out of here. Can't teleport anywhere. Just stuck in water. He was foolish not to take away my portal gun. <coughs> Jeez, okay, I think I can talk better now. Um, why would he leave me with my portal gun? I mean, seriously. Good thinking, British dude. I'm hoping that we don't have to destroy him. But I'm I'm more hoping that we can just get him out of that machine. If we can't do that, that's gonna be sad, and we're gonna have to kill British dude. Where did that stupid crow take Potato Girl? This is Potato. Oh, over here maybe, 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 maybe. Ooh, I can finally place the portal. That means that we're going to have to do some portal placing or something. Okay, I'm just going to leave a portal there just in case. If we have to use any... Why is it throw? Uh, jeez. <laughs> um, where do I go? Ooh. I'm just so confused as to where I am supposed to go. Actually... Wait, 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 did I just figure it out? <gasps> wait, no, I can place that up there? Oh, wait. <gasps> Whoa! I 
think we did it. Hopefully. I think this is like scattered pieces of GLaDOS or whatever it is. <laughs> Ooh, yay! I have access to this white stuff again. Hmm. What should I do now? <laughs> So, haha. -ha. Oh, that was weird. My brain had farted before, but now my brain is just tooting. So these are like pieces of Glados. Oh, jeez, this is like. Danger center, keep out. Do not enter. Well, of course we're gonna enter in it, seriously. Well, I mean, of course we're gonna enter. Who's not gonna enter a place like this? I mean, seriously, probably smart people, but come on. How do we get in there? I literally have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Ah! Oh, wait, seriously? And then we also have this place over here. I don't even know if my video was on pause when I figured out that there was a place there. Oh, and there's also a place right here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I guess I gotta do some parkours or just jump course. We oof. Okay. We literally have no idea where this bird took her. So I'm so lazy. I didn't even jump. I just teleported. Um. I don't think British dude is 100% taken over by that machine thing because he still said uh oh when we started to fall down. And he was like, could moron do this? I don't know what that does. Is that supposed to do something? Because I have no idea what it does. <laughs> okay. Um, this looks like an abandoned facility. Three, two, one. What does that even do? I'm so flippin' confused as to what that does. Well, who knows? It's an old test facility. I mean, come on. Um. Or maybe it opens up that or something. No, it opens something. Just don't know what. What does it open? Um, there's gotta be something important. Ah! Okay, there's something I want to try. You guys will probably see where I'm going with this. Very soon. It worked! What is that? 
Oh my gosh. That did something. <laughs> Hopefully the buttons did something, guys. You guys probably didn't believe me. You guys were like, huh, why is Josh so dumb? I don't know. If you can answer that question, this world would be saved. <laughs> okay. Um, how did the bird get in here, though? I mean, seriously? Well, birds are pretty crafty and sneaky and all that stuff. But, yeah. I, my eyes were deceiving me for a second there. I thought that the outer rim was like purple. Okay, jeez. So that's poisonous water. And that's the broken Death Star. Mini version or something. <laughs> Does it look like the Death Star? The Star Wars should sue them. <laughs> Just kidding, don't actually sue them, Star Wars. <laughs> actually. Star Wars got sold to Disney, so. Well, that was pretty easy. Did I just complete the puzzle? Never mind, okay. <laughs> that probably did nothing. Uh... This look. Yeah, that's the other half of the Death Star. The Death Star split in two. Actually, I'm pretty sure it doesn't in the movie, but. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it just explodes. And nothing survives. This is why everybody hates science. Just kidding, most people actually like science. <laughs> uh, I'm all the way back here. How did I get back here? Ah! Die, Josh. You know, there has to be something with that door. I mean, like, seriously, you can't just be there for no reason. And I can't go anywhere else. I already tried teleporting everywhere. So, maybe there's something I missed in there. Ah, uh, whoa! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I missed that! Okay, I'm glad I went back here then. What was that doing? Wait. Okay, guys. So, it's actually been about a month since the last time I recorded Portal. So, this will be the continuing of Portal. I guess we're in this room. I don't even remember because I think the last time we recorded was in January. So, guys, basically what happens is you guys have seen all of this stuff. But I haven't, so I have no idea what the storyline is right now, because I forget things very easily, because I had a bunch of other things on my mind. So I think we're with that Johnson dude, or whatever his name is. I think it's Johnson. <laughs> but yeah, guys, let's get continuing. Yeah, so to you guys, it'll be really normal. But to me... I don't know what's going on. Oh, I thought somebody talked to me. Oh, hey, by the way, 
guys, happy Valentine's Day. If you guys didn't get a Valentine's, besides your mom, you're like me. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll um, this one open. Yeah, I think this is where the gun is. Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Wait, Astronauts, war here. Wait, one second. I gotta go to options, audio, and turn it up. Wait, there's music? I didn't even know that. Well, let's turn it off because it's kind of copyrighted. Okay, let's turn this up. And there we go. Pros, Olympians, you're here because we want the best. And yeah. you are it. So, who is ready to make some science? Not me! <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. I own the place. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Please read the postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. That sounds really... Good. And she's married to science? wonder who that is. Uh, even though she's dead? Are still wondering. Uh, I don't think I was supposed to be able to teleport here. Um, we need a broken aperture science thing. Okay, so it looks like we can actually teleport up there. Ha! To the future! Okay, guys, I just figured it out. There's oh, a thousand tests performed know. every day here in our enrichment spheres. Okay. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. It's him. Your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. Bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. Uh, I don't see a blue line or a yellow line. series of tests, please let a test associate know, because in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cooked. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline, so all that means is it's working. If you 
cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is, if you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, please, just, just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. Say great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Well, guys, that's going to have to wrap up this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and then subscribe to join the death squad. And also, check out my merch and my Minecraft skins, link in the description below. And with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Whoops. Bye. <laughs>